NVIDIA shares moving higher this morning. One of the chip stocks getting a boost off the back of AMD's upbeat earnings report. But what's really driving this narrative surrounding NVIDIA this morning is the call that we're getting out from Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley once again naming NVIDIA a top pick here, a top U.S. chip stock here pick for Morgan Stanley. The first time that it has named NVIDIA that in six months on this move follows the recent sell-off that we have seen in NVIDIA stock. You can see that towards the right-hand side of your screen. And Morgan Stanley essentially making the argument that the stock has, quote, sold off on a large list of concerns that we think are likely to fade with time. They went on to talk about AI CapEx levels remaining positive. NVIDIA is still at the center of the sector, even as competition ramps up. So they're saying that there's a lot to like in NVIDIA stock right now. You're still looking at year-to-date gains of just over 100 percent, one-year gains of 121 percent. But we are well below the all-time high that we did hit for NVIDIA's stock with right above, trading right above 100 bucks a share following that stock split. So again, Morgan Stanley at least making the argument, Brad, that there's still a lot to like within this name and that it's actually set to move to the upside following that correction. Yeah. Or move well, lower, sorry, not correction. Well, exactly. And I mean, concerns that they expect to fade over time, which really lead them to make this call here. Some concerns, cap, uh, customer capital spending budgets and customer ROI, seeing consistent upside to AI capital expenditures everywhere but customer comments about quarter over quarter progression of spending having an impact on AI semiconductor stocks. So all this really contributing to one of the core points that they make in addition to competitive dynamics, export control, supply chain concerns. So, you know, even as they're citing these concerns, they're essentially still coming back to the thought process of despite all of this, they're still best positioned. And, and we've heard this from some of their other industry cohorts or some of their uh, other industry constituents that are looking at this name and even as we had heard Goldman Sachs call this a de facto AI play Morgan Stanley is firmly back in the position of saying all right this is our topic right now um, and we'll see exactly where Nvidia continues to move off of yet another bullish rating coming forward from Wall Street in an unexpected turn of events that has sent shockwaves through the stock market Nvidia saw its stock skyrocket by more than 12 percent recently this remarkable surge comes on the heels of better-than-expected guidance from AMD and an optimistic assessment from analysts at Morgan Stanley following a significant drop in NVIDIA's stock, tech juggernauts. Microsoft and other industry peers also contributed to lifting NVIDIA's spirits. As investors catch their breath from the tumultuous roller coaster ride, one can't help but wonder, is NVIDIA poised to continue its incredible ascent? Let's break this down. But first, if you want to keep up with NVIDIA's latest updates and keep up with the stock market's latest news, you can follow our Twitter account. We post multiple times daily about the biggest changes and catalysts in the market, so click the follow button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Now, back to today's video. Let's start with that cloud revenue number. So that disappointed, and then we started to hear a little bit more. The contribution from AI is picking up. We're going to see that softness continue in the current quarter, but then re-accelerate. Things start to pick up again in the back half of fiscal 2025. Can you just frame the second piece of this mm. for us? Why do you think that is so much more important than what we're seeing play out this morning? The words heard around the world, and I think around the street, when Nadella and Amy talked about the acceleration for Azure in the second half, and that AI monetization, that actually starts for real in January. And that's, look, ultimately, you go back to last week, the knee jerk in terms of the white knuckle moment, alphabet, street needed to hear about validation and monetization for AI. They heard it from the Della on that call, bullish not just from Microsoft, for the broader tech sector. Did you find it odd that the stock's down this morning? Oh, I, I mean, in my opinion, and we were talking last night, I mean, I think there's stock that goes green in, in terms of, I can't say today, but this doesn't stick today. I, I'd be shocked if it sticks because anyone that heard that conference call, you come out more bullish on Microsoft rather than any sort of skepticism because of the acceleration from Azure, because of monetization, because of commercial booking, stronger than expected. And that's why, look, the, these knee jerk, the haters come out, they've been negative on Microsoft the last 150 points. It all is about the AI revolution, the AI monetization, validation. Why did you turn to Lisa then yeah, if you start talking did, about he haters? He was like, he's like the haters over <laughs> here who have been talking down this story forever, Lisa. It's clear that NVIDIA's recent success is not a mere fluke, but rather a testament to strategic plays in the AI and data center domains. The key drivers behind NVIDIA's resurgence illuminate a narrative that transcends mere numbers and statistics. 
AMD's quarterly results, for instance, served as a soothing balm to investors' concerns regarding the longevity of the AI trade. The company not only beat expectations on both the top and bottom lines, but also projected a better-than-anticipated outlook for the third quarter. Pretty reassuring for those clutching their stock portfolios with sweaty palms, wouldn't you say? Furthermore, Microsoft's latest quarterly results have echoed this sentiment by revealing higher spending on data center infrastructure. It seems that big tech's interest in AI isn't just a fleeting fascination. It's a full-blown commitment. Major players like AMD and NVIDIA stand to gain massively from such investments, and their stock movements reflect this optimism. The fear of some of this momentum not lasting, or maybe fear that the revenue trajectory wouldn't be there over the next 12 months or so, I think that is starting to ease, commented CFRA senior equity analyst Angelo Zeno to Yahoo Finance. Adding fuel to NVIDIA's rocket, Morgan Stanley's bullish call sent NVIDIA shares skyrocketing further. The firm, led by analyst Joseph Moore, moved NVIDIA stock to a top pick status following a substantial pullback from its record highs earlier this year. They wrote, The roughly 25% in NVIDIA stock sell-off presents a good entry point as we continue to hear strong data points, short-term and long-term, with overblown competitive concerns. So what does this mean for NVIDIA? Let's find out. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Investocracy. Now listen, this, I don't think it sounded like people were the haters who were actually skeptical of these numbers. They weren't coming out and saying AI is bogus and that everything is wrong and they're going to tank. It was that they weren't surprised dramatically to the upside and the actual gains that we've seen on the stock imply significant profit gains going forward. Here's one investor. It was really about the cloud services number. It needed to just be a little higher. What do you make of that? Just sort of how people have priced in the forward growth rate and whether they've gotten over their skis in terms of the pace. No, look, it's a great point, and that's why the, the most important thing here is show that monetization is coming. Show that you're now going to have growth rates on cloud in the 30 percent. What ultimately, if you trajectory it out, an incremental 15, 20 billion for Microsoft, you're not going to see that right away. What what basically the Dell and Microsoft showed you, this is coming, and we're going to guide to it. So I think that was the most important thing for the call, despite in terms of the actual quarter being strong, but not a wow, pop the champagne quarter. It's not merely good news from Piers Boeing NVIDIA. A multitude of external variables have played a role in painting this buoyant picture. According to Morgan Stanley, the recent decline in NVIDIA's stock was driven by five main concerns, spending plans, competition, export controls, supply chain fears, and valuation worries. Nonetheless, the firm asserted, through those concerns, the earnings environment is likely to remain strong for NVIDIA and for the whole AI complex. The other chip industry titans such as Broadcom, Micron, Taiwan Semiconductor, ASML, and Supermicro also mirrored this surge, signaling a broader optimism within the sector. The fact that NVIDIA stock has soared more than 135% this year dwarfing the Nasdaq's comparatively modest 17% increase, reinforces the firm's confidence in AI's bullish trajectory. But hold your horses. Is this a frenzy-driven rally, or does it have the substance to back it? For now, the numbers speak for themselves. The company is poised to issue its next quarterly report on August 28th, and if the current momentum is anything to go by, investors could be in for another round of pleasant surprises. And as NVIDIA basks in the limelight, one pressing question lingers. Should investors dive into this high-flying stock or hold off for a more conservative play? Given the recent rally and expert endorsements, it's tempting to get swept up in the enthusiasm. Morgan Stanley's overweight rating and $144 price target seem to underscore a strong vote of confidence. The firm's statement that the earnings environment is likely to remain strong resonates with a market looking for stability and growth prospects. So, should you invest in NVIDIA at the moment? Let's answer this. But first, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make, so if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said, back to the video. Bulls are back in the fight. That was a big day. The math adds up when tech leads. Somewhat against my better judgment. 
I'm going to make a shift to my risk radar where the red light has been on stocks. I'm turning it yellow because today was big, but I feel we have potential for even bigger moves from here into the weekend. The fact that we've gotten this massive rally in NVIDIA today, it's the most important thing to see tech lead again. The whole reason why I've had a red or yellow light throughout rotation is because rotation is not good math for the index. Now, however, the reason I'm not turning stocks green, just yellow for now, because I'm convicted there's a big move coming. I don't know which way, but I don't wanna have a red light if the big move is to the upside. Here's the bottom line. Today reinvigorated the entire thesis for the tech trade, and that is absolutely crucial. But technically on the charts, we haven't made the big break out yet. Let's look at the past 10 days, really, taking it back a couple weeks. Well, firstly, Meta and uh, Arm, okay? Firstly that. Look at the intraday action here. It's good to see Meta rallying. That was a really pure number from Meta. There's questions about expenses. There's questions about whether or not all this stuff is gonna pay off. But the bottom line is just when the market has these big rallies after reports, it's exactly what you need to tourniquet the bleeding in the stock market generally. Meta up big in the blue, ARM down big in the white though. That's kind of the first point here is that ARM's numbers were pretty good too, but you still have a valuation problem in tech for a lot of these. Meta, you don't really have a valuation problem so much. It looks pretty good for 23 times, but ARM, absurdly expensive, totally different story. So that tells you there's still a push and pull within the market in some of these very important categories. It's valuation based and generally the valuations look more discouraging than encouraging at this point. But really crucially is the chart of the S&P 500. If you look at the intraday for the SPX over the last two weeks, we filled the gap at 5,500, but we didn't actually put in the higher high. So that's where we're definitely not uptrending. Technically, I think we still might be downtrending, but it's tricky because we did put in higher lows now over the last three days. We put in higher lows in the SPX and that's crucial because that's the first step to trying to turn things around. We put a higher low in yesterday and actually Friday and Thursday, we put in a little marginal higher low as well. The gap up here brought us back into the 55, this old gap on the way down, but technically we're still below where we were last week on Monday. So you need to really trade into the 56 area to put in a higher high. And then it seems like we really have a shot at the all time record. Technically though, we're still down trending for the S&P over the last 20 days, which is why I feel like, you know, it's down trend red light, but I'm gonna give bulls the benefit of the doubt because this really could go either way. The market's basically telling us today that it's celebration from the Fed. Powell telling us that they're getting ready to cut. They see the balance in the market. They're worried a little bit about labor, which they should be, and that means they're gonna start to provide some easing. I generally side with the message we heard from Cam Harvey today that the signs of unemployment and yield curve uninversion are all the things that are typically late cycle behavior when the recession is really taking shape underneath. But if, Friday's employment report goes well, and if Apple doesn't drop the ball, that could be the hat trick for bulls. So that's why I wanna have the yellow light on instead of red, because there's a possibility here that really everything goes smoothly. So far, the earnings this week have generally been positive. Even though Microsoft was down, the fact it was up so big for Nvidia makes it a positive report, because Nvidia matters even more. It's crucial to recognize the duality of investing in stocks like Nvidia. Yes, there's considerable risk given factors like competition and export controls. But isn't that the very nature of any stock worth its salt? As daring as this venture may seem, the data suggest a calculated risk rather than a blind gamble. NVIDIA's strategic investments in AI and data center infrastructure, coupled with the continued big tech spending, offer a compelling reason to consider the stock seriously. Looking ahead, market forecasts for NVIDIA appear encouraging. The company's robust performance this year and anticipated strong quarterly report later this month signal a continuing upward trajectory. If current trends are any indication, NVIDIA's stock could very well be on the cusp of even greater heights. As we wrap up, the arena of tech stocks remains as thrilling as ever, and NVIDIA's dramatic rebound accentuates the ever-persistent opportunities it presents. Investors could greatly benefit from this bullish sentiment appreciating both the potential rewards and the associated risks. But what do you think? Is NVIDIA poised to be the unparalleled champion of AI investments? Or should one tread carefully amidst the tech sector's volatile nature? This engaging story of NVIDIA's rise and the factors propelling it forward is far from over. 
Stay tuned to see how this stock continues to defy expectations and set new benchmarks in the ever-evolving world of technology investments. If you would like to know what companies like NVIDIA have been up to these past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there!